today. How are you doing? Here I am. Back at it. Good morning, lovelies. Good morning. I'm back at it. Back at what, right? Back at what? <laughs> I'm back at it. My humanness practice. <laughs> I'm practicing humanity. <laughs> what is human practice? What is human practice? Human practice is practicing relationship. <laughs> practicing love, right, lovelies? Here I am practicing love, right? Learning to love, lovelies. This is it. We're all learning to love. We're all learning how to really love, right? <laughs> We're unconditionally loving beings. That's what we really are. That's what we're really supposed to be. That's what we're supposed to be, lovelies. <laughs> but, but, but who was your unconditionally loving model, right? Who taught you how to love unconditionally? Right? What unconditionally loving experiences have you found or had in your life? Right? <laughs> I don't know about you, but you know, I never had any really unconditionally loving experiences or relationships in my life. All of the relationships in my life have been, you know, a, a two-way street. Like, if you do this, then I'll do that. <laughs> These are not unconditionally loving relationships. These are the relationships that we've learned. These are the relationships that we've had. And then we've had, what, trauma <laughs> and upset, right? and sadness and sorrow and frustration. We've had nothing but letdowns our entire lives. This is what we've learned from, lovelies. We've learned from uh, poor experiences. Uh, we've learned from lack and limitation, how to be. Our personalities are a result of our experiences and we've learned how not to love. We've learned control and judgment and comparison and competition, right? And, and what we need to do is we need to come back to the truth. We need to practice the truth. We need to practice love. Here I am getting up, getting going, making myself accountable to you Monday morning. Monday morning, right? It's time to get back at it. <laughs> the weekend's over. Uh, it's time to get back to work, right? Uh, no one's going to be sleeping in today, right? Got to get back to work, right? But how about getting to work on your goals and your dreams, right? If you get up every Monday morning and you go to work, you don't skip that, but, but, but do you skip out on your dreams? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, if you get up every Monday morning and you go to work and you pay your bills, I'll tell you what's going to happen when you're 50. You know, maybe you'll have paid your bills, but, but where will you be on the, on the goals that you have? Where will you be on your steps towards your dreams, right? Just the same as you get up on Monday morning and you go back to work to pay the bills for the man, you've got to get up and you've got to Take the actions required to move towards your goals. And what are the actions that you've got to take to move towards your goals, right? How to create your goal, right? How to create anything here 
in heaven, right? How do we create in heaven, right? Well, it's the predominant thought that creates the reality, right? So what we need to do is we need to get up and we need to start thinking and speaking about what we wish to create. We need to think and speak more often about the goal than we do about the problem. And this is the thing, is that we're always talking about the problem. Human has become a problem solver. Oh my. <laughs> problem solving is never going to get you what you want out of your life. Problem solving is such a low frequency way to engage with your life. If you want to be fit, healthy, and well, if you want to love yourself and love your life like I do, if you want to love your wife or your husband, your partner, and your kids, if you want to love your career and your future, if you want to love you know, what you leave here, a legacy here on the planet, what's your mark going to be? You know, I want to love what I leave here. I want to create something here that helps the rest of us all, right? So here I am talking about my goals. You see, whatever you think and speak about most often becomes your reality. So here's what I do. I get up in the morning and I begin my day in the very best way. I think and speak about the things that I wish to create. That's my practice. I call that a practice. I say practice the things that you wish to be or see in the world. Be the change that you wish to see in the world. What do you want to see more of in the world? I want to see more love. I want to see more relationship, right? So then, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up and I'm going to practice loving relationships. This is the human practice, practicing loving relationships. Monday morning is a real big significant day, I think, as it's the first day of the week. It's the day that we need to get back on track. We need to let go of the weekend. Everybody eats and drinks more on the weekend. I don't, you know, it's, a, it's our social interaction, and I think it's normal and happy and healthy and well, and I think we all need to be able to do that. If you want to have a few extra foods and drinks on the weekend, that's all right, but hey, you can't keep that going into Monday if you want to be happy, healthy, and well. We gotta kind of let go of that weekend energy. And we gotta get back on track. Just like we get up and go to work, we gotta get back on track with our goals. Let's affirm positively. Let's think and speak about the things we wish to create. What do you wanna create? Right? Get up, write it down, visualize. Spend some time thinking and talking about that for today. What do you want to create today, this week? And then start taking actions that are in alignment with it. Thought actions, word actions, and nutrition actions, and movement actions. Right? How are you going to nourish yourself today, this week? Monday morning, I say no food Monday. 24 hours no solid food. That's right. Practicing emptiness. I call it unfooding. Right? Get my free 10 day process on my website. I'll make sure I leave some links down below for you. If you like what I'm talking about, leave me a comment, leave me a like, share me with a friend. Have you got a friend that needs some extra energy? Well, you know what? Share me with your friend that needs a little bit of extra energy. I'll appreciate it. Monday is the day where I say, let's get back on.
on track. Let's stop eating today. Let's practice not eating. When's the last time you practiced not eating? How many days have you gone without food? I mean, all we've ever been told is, you gotta eat, you gotta eat, you gotta get, you gotta get. This is what we're told. I tell you, you know what? We live in a world that's kind of managed by money. <laughs> Did you notice this? Right? We live in a world of consumerism, and unfortunately, money makes the whole bloody thing go round. <laughs> That's why no one's going to tell you this. That's why you don't hear people talking about this, because what we're talking about, the way to get healthy, is actually to not eat, is actually to not put stuff in, because you know what? Health, like love, like joy and happiness and freedom is an inside job. Like, I'm healthy inside, I just gotta get the blockage that's inside out of me so that the energy can flow freely through my body and life. I tell you, if you're over 40, I tell you, if you wanna be 50 and fabulous, you're gonna to have to get some new information because the stuff that they're telling you in the mainstream not, you know, media is, is, is gonna get you fat, unhealthy, sick, and full of illness and disease. Can't you see it? It's going all around us, right? Sickness, illness, and disease, what? <laughs> disease, right? We've been overrun, overcome by disease, right? Why is that? Why is that? Because the, the common knowledge that's being shared is making us sick, right? You've got to get some new information. And I tell you that health is not something that we need to get. Health is something that we need to release from our bodies and our lives. Health is love. Health is a frequency, it's a vibration, and it's inside of us, and we can get it out if we remove the blocks. If we let go of the blocks and clean the channel, prepare the body and life for more. There is a lot more that's available to all of us. It's energy, it's love, it's emotion, and it's inside every single one of us. And every single one of us can have it, achieve it, go for it, and get it. Unfooding is the way. Today's the day that we get started again on my four-day detox, which you can get on my website for free in my 10-day process. I'll make sure I leave a link below. Join my private group, and you can do all and get all of the free information and giveaway and conversation I have about all of these things. I'll make sure I leave the links below. Today is No Food Monday. It's time to get back on track. Try to go 24 hours from Sunday night dinner until Monday night dinner. Can you just go on water? Can you just go on juice? Can you just go on raw juice or green juice or cold pressed juices today? If you want some help, if you want to talk about these things, please send me a message, leave me a message, and I'd love to have a conversation about all of these things. Let's just have a little bit of dialogue. Reach out to me if you need some help with your health, with your weight, with your pain, with your relationship. If you want to change your life, I'm here to help you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Have yourself a super awesome, terrific day and a healthy, wealthy week. I wish you the very best in your life, in your relationships, it, with your nutrition, with your health, with your life. I wish you the very best. I love you. I love you. I love you.